If we're looking at the Gardasis infection, I get to see that this infection is caused by what? An organism known as what? Gardia lambda. Right, and from this image, you see that um, this man is just randomly um, trying to get water from the stream. So one of the ways of con uh, of having this infection is if you are taking in what contaminated water. All right. So see that this gardiasis is an intestinal infection which is caused by the Gardia lambda parasites. Okay. So I have so many pictures here trying to show the um life cycle of this what organism right and the life cycle the bulk of it is when this organism is in the intestine all right so talking uh, trying to talk about this uh gadiasis we'll be talking about how this disease condition is transmitted then we'll move to the organism talk about the life cycle of the organism because it's like i'm using this video to talk about the gadiasis and the gadia lambda all right that's the disease and the causative uh, organism they also look at the symptoms, look at the diagnosis, look at the treatments, look at the preventions, look at the possible complications that will actually what um, come up in this. All right. So um, looking at the definition, we have already spoke about it. So transmission is what probably you took in water that has this organism. All right. A foodborne transmission that's uh, you took in some foods that is actually what contaminated by this or person to person contact all right or probably you, you travel to the endemic area so you had body to body contact with the water soil or people who were contact who were uh, what affected okay so life cycle is if this organism is in the male in the humans Ultimately, it will get expelled into feces, right? So it will get expelled into feces. Now, um, the feces can now contaminate maybe water or food, okay? Then, all right, these human beings, they still, you know, some in areas where they practice open defecation, all right? Um, the same streams that people are defecating at, probably people defecated far away. All right, then coming into the, another village is the same stream that people are actually what consuming water from. Do you understand? So this is usually a problem. All right. So now these trophocytes will actually what emerge and colonize the small intestine again. All right. The trophocyte will now start multiplying and forming cysts. All right. Then symptoms. If if this is causing an infection in the stomach. It will cause things like what diarrhea, abdominal cramps, bloating, and gassing. All right, to cause nausea and vomiting, weight loss, fatigue. All right, either one of these. Then diagnosis. Um, if you want to confirm this disease condition, you might want to do something like what a stool examination, endoscopy with biopsy, imaging studies, serological test. All of these are basically what harmful. In this, okay, so you can see this what um, is fecal oral route of transmission. All right, it's mostly in places where the hygiene levels are do are low. Okay, so um, feces get um, uh, feces contaminate the water supply again, and it's recycled like that. Okay, treatment. You could use drugs like what metronidazole, albendazole, tinidazole. All right, prevention. Proper water treatment like filtration and chlorination, improve hygiene and sanitation, regularly wash your hands, okay? Avoid contaminated water and food, then cook your food thoroughly, okay, to avoid any complications. Then for the complications now, it could result into malabsorption, it could result into weight loss, it could result into lactose intolerance, it could result into what? Vitamin deficiencies. Then there will also be increased risk of other infections because this can basically what weaken your immune system, all right? So that's it for Gardiasis, which is caused by the organism known as what Gardia lambda.